SEFC Fan TV, I'm Sean Middleton outside the Western Homes Stadium, Peterborough United, where Peterborough United are playing Sunderland and the current score is Peterborough United 3, Sunderland 0. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be meeting some very angry supporters coming into this game. SEFC Fan TV, I'm with Stan and Margaret. What do you think of the game today? I thought we were very poor. I don't think we ever got started. We were slower to the ball than they were. And we just, they were, they, they seemed as if the they found, found the ball they went much quicker and they got the ball in the penalty box much quicker than what we did. And the first time shooting paid off for them because they, their shots were coming in on goal very, very quickly. We always seemed to have to take that extra touch and in front of goal in particular. I was very disappointing. Did, 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 did any play well today, do you think? No. No, none of them. Don't think so. No, totally different than last week. Do you think the manager's? Do you think the manager's? Uh, that he's the right man going forward. I don't think we've got much option really. Who else are we going to get to come in now? I, I think that uh, we've had a poor, uh, close season where we haven't. I don't think improved the squad and we haven't brought anybody of quality into the middle of the park. Or if we have, he's not playing them, like Young Dobson. So do you think? They, do you think they only need to um, get the checkbook out before the? The window shuts on, on the second of September. The, the window is closed. It's down now. Down to if you can bring anybody in on loan. But I mean, we've got young boy, lad Dobson who we b thought was going to be very good for us, and we've got two old guys playing in the middle of the park, McGeady and uh, uh, Ledbetter. You know, we need young legs in this league. Old legs is not good enough. But thanks for your time. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. SCFC fan TV. I'm with Oliver from Sunland. Oliver, how would you describe that uh, hover show out there? Absolutely shocking. No midfield, defence was poor, attack was poor, everything was poor. Okay. Was anybody who actually played well today, do you think? I think Charlie Wack put his 100% effort before he got his red card, which I don't think was deserved. When you look at the tables now, I'm looking at the goal difference already, and we're like, Ipswich has got plus nine, and Coventry plus six, we're like miles away from that goal difference already. So do you think it's a bit worrying? I right, definitely worrying because no one's scoring goals as pot shot today. It's knee one, so. Do you think we need to buy anybody for the window shuts? Left back, because Conor McLaughlin's not a left back. He's a right back who still think his paw is a right back. Just need a good left back and maybe perhaps an attacking midfielder. Do you think Jack Ross is the right man? No, in my opinion, I don't think he's the right man. Thanks for your time, yeah. Cheers. SEFC Fan TV, I'm with Dave from Sullen. Dave, how would you assess Sullen's performance today? Uh, don't know where to start. I thought first half wasn't much in it. I thought it was a bit scrappy. Um, Peterborough took the chances and I thought we were still in the game and then second half it all just fell to pieces. So uh, very disappointed with the overall sort of performance. I thought the referee was atrocious and the officials. But uh, just got to pick ourselves up and go again. It's not acceptable performance for me. I mean, I mean, I don't know how many fans come to you. I mean, three or four thousand, and they're all going to get them not happy. It's just, it's not acceptable for the size of our club. Yeah, I know, especially the two lads. It's the first away game today, so I um, was hoping for something a bit better. But it's the way it goes, isn't it? Just following Sunderland. Do you think Jack Ross is the right man then? Um, I don't know. I think, I think it was, I think it was. Um, so the Oxford game, it was turning against them and I could see the crowd starting to turn and I think he pulled it round a bit but after the day I don't know but really I don't know I'm, I'm a, is this squad good enough to win to to get promotion this season I don't think so no, I don't either thanks thanks for your time man. thank you SEFC fan TV I'm with Deegan from Sunderland Deegan how would you assess Sunderland's performance today really really bad really bad probably the worst performance I've seen still one to ten <sighs> probably three Matt of goals are conceded uh, Sendings off? Uh, I think both deserved. No, no wrong with the sentence off at all. I thought both both deserved to get sent off. Really, is this is the sign of a side that's going to win this league. No, not even get playoffs. Mid table at best. I don't know how we can go from fucking beating Burnley. So where, where does the where's the blame lie? fucking shit. There we go. Where's the blame lie? Fullbacks are just. Fullbacks are just horrendous. Is it the owner or the manager? No, I told the owner. I don't think it's the owner, so he can't do much more. Could, 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 he, not have, could, could, could he not have paid 2.5 million for Madison who absolutely just ripped us to pieces there? I think he needs to pull his hand out of his pocket like him. 
I can see a lot more, but I'm going, to, I'm going to contain it. I think Jack Ross, to, Jack Ross to blame basically. He's, I just like he just he just stands there with his hands. Oh, I don't like the way they play. But yeah, he's just shit, man. Just shit. I didn't like him. Do you think we'll bring any more players in before the window shuts? Yeah, hopefully a left back because McLaughlin's got as much use on the left as Harvey Price, mate. Absolutely horrendous. So, uh, going forward, do you think we're going up or not? Uh, I think playoffs again, then we'll get beaten in the final by them. <laughs> Useless. Thanks for your time, mate. Cheers, Cheers lads. Thank you. SEFC Fan TV. I'm with Mick Thompson from Sunderland. Mick, how would you assess that uh, horror show? Uh, absolutely That's dreadful. Ross has got his tactics all wrong again. Playing the usual players who are not up to it, not producing on a weekly basis, and he's just playing them all the time. Gooch, Power, the midfield was absolutely shocking. Well, the whole team shocking. So, all right. Thanks for your time, yes. Hey, brother. Cheers. SCFC fan team with Woody. Woody, how would you assess Sun's performance today? Garbage. Yes, absolutely. You can't, you can't put in a lid on it, anything like that. We played all right the first half. Dominated the game a little bit, but we just collapsed. And again, it's Sunderland, simple Sunderland, and I don't think the management's good enough for this club anymore. I tell you now, I think Jack Ross to me should go. Simple as that. You think he's had enough time now? Yes, definitely. Um, we'll give him a few games in this season. People are saying, well, we've won five on the trot. Oh, yeah, come on. We should be dominating this league now. You know what I mean? He knows what it's all about. We shouldn't be coming down here getting beat 3 0. Definitely not. You want to play with some heart, get them fired up, get the lads out and get them tackling football and let's win some games. You know what I mean? We just collapse there and that's under, underneath, for me, it's management. Do you think do you think the players are good enough? Do you think it's totally the manager? I think yes, I think the players are. Our squad, not just players, I think our squad's good enough. So is he picking the right team, tactics, everything like that? You know what I mean? I just think, is that enough time now? Let's let's move on. Oh well, this is sun and mind. You know what I mean? We should be up the top of the we should be top of this league and dominating it. People should be frightened of us. Not coming down here and getting B3 now. You know what I mean? We bring four thousand fans down to Peterborough once again and we, we frighten we frighten the teams. We frighten the teams. You know what I mean? Let's get let's get the heart back into Sunland. Eh? Th thanks for your time, yes. Thank Cheers, Paul. Thank you. SCFC fan TV, I'm Sean Middleton, I'm with Matty. Matty, how would you uh, sum up that game, my dear? Shocking. Yeah, unbelievable. But no one. See what happens at the end of the season, or well, like near to the end of the season, we'll keep going and see what happens. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna get promote we're gonna get promoters. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> With Will Grigg. Do you think it'll come good? Yes. Really yeah. good. Do you think we need to improve the squad Lee? Yeah, a bit. We just I don't know what happens. Some like we'll look at last weekend, three one and then this today, I don't know what happens in this Sunderland, but that's why we love them, I suppose. Who was our fault? Do you think the DM like mainly? <sighs> don't know really. A bit, everyone, everyone was at fault a little bit, but you yeah. think it's a case of we won five games in a row, and it's a case of oh, we'll just come here and get three points, and you're playing a Peter beside who's a good side. Maybe, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think they've just got a bit relaxed a bit, haven't they? And thought, yeah, we'll come in. Quite an easy game, but it's not. They're, 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 like over here. So overall, for us, isn't they? The overall opinion of the fans. Coming out here's Jack Ross, the, the one Jack Ross out. What do you believe in that? I like him personally, but well, yeah, give him a chance, I think. But yeah, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for your time, yeah. Cheers. Man.